Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to um, another beer review with your host, Jonathan Brown, who is losing his voice, much to Mrs. Brown's delight. So we got a brand new brewery to me. Um, we're off to Newcastle and we've got a brewery which basically has a bit of a Canadian influence to them. I don't know whether or not the head brewery is half Canadian, half Geordie. There's a mashup in it, half Canadian, half Geordie. I, I couldn't tell you. But this is the first one, with hopefully a few of them from them. And we've got a, um, a beer from Thirsty Moose Brewing Company. And it is a maple brown ale, clocking in at 4.5%. And it's called Canny Canuck. There you go. Give you a bit of a bit of a twist. It says, um, friendly Canadian, an exciting combination of a Canadian staple and the North Sea's most beloved beer style. This modern take on a northeastern classic as deep multi flavors of biscuit, nuts, caramel, hints of chocolate, fermented maple syrup, which creates a smoky woodland aroma. Geordie Brewers with Canadian heritage. Fantastic. Canadians are great, aren't they? I mean, Canadians, uh, Canada has got to be one of the most friendliest, friendliest countries in the world. Because, you know, I've only met about three or four Canadians in my lifetime. But every one of them seems to be so chilled out and so nice. I don't think being an arsehole is, is in their... In their jeans, it really isn't. They're really nice people. Canadians are really nice. Anyway, it says uh, what we got in this. It's not giving away anything, but they're based in Bladen in Newcastle. So let's crack it up. This crack it open. This is purchased from the Bear and Bottle, and we see what we get. Let's stick it straight into the glass, and uh, we go from there. I think. We go from there. I mean, you've got to have a good alternative to a brown ale now because Newcastle brown ale is a load of shite, isn't it? So, there we go. Give it a little. There we go. It's actually not as brown as a brown ale for me. It's a little bit light in colour. That's no, that's no kind of like... Uh, there's no kind of like, um, criticism at all. It's just brown owls I tend to be a little bit darker than that, but maybe it's just the light I've got behind it. Let's get the aroma. Malty and biscuity comes to mind for me. It's calling it a woodland aroma. And I suppose, yeah, you know, tree bark could be there. You know, moss growing on the trees as well. Could be there. It could be. I'm going to go in. Cheers, everybody. Very pleasant. That is very pleasant. Again, and again. Malty. Woody, I pick up the maple syrup, it's there, it adds to it in a way, it gives the beer a little bit more depth, um, walnutty, there's a swirl of caramel, it's not a real prolific swirl of caramel, but it's there, excuse me, I haven't got my nice good looking face in, I do apologise. <coughs> it's for the women out there anyway <laughs> again again mouthfeel very very nice very smooth nice clean edge to it and it is slight smokiness to it as well it's very very pleasant it is um, the flavours for me, are quite subtle. Um, that's down to a personal thing, you know. I like big flavour beers. They are quite subtle. They're there for sure, and it's very, very enjoyable. And um, yeah, it's nice. Again, again, 
very easy drinking as well. I'll enjoy a few of these, I think. Boys and girls, big thumbs up for this one. Um, my first beer from this lot, and I have to say, it's very, very pleasant. Very, very nice. And worth giving a go for sure. So, Thirsty Moose Brewing Company, Canny Canuck. Um, yeah, gets a big thumbs up. It's lovely. Lovely, pleasant, easy drinking beer. And it's a good alternative to new, very good alternative to Newcastle Brown. Believe you me. Thank you very much for watching this one. Got there in the end. Please subscribe. Write me in the comments. See all of you again on another beer review. Cheers. Bip bip.